A cold day in February, a small machine winds its way down the hallways of VCU Health, headed toward the surgical suite. Without closer inspection, few people might not even notice this device. And yet, as it's brought into the operating room, this little machine represents a revolution in the performance of organ transplantation. Throughout the entire 60-year history of organ transplantation at MCV and VCU Health, one of the constant challenges among many has been keeping donated organs viable for as long as possible. Cold storage under the best of circumstances has given organs anywhere from 3 to 12 hours of viability at most. That greatly shortens the time and physical distance from which donor organs can be sent to recipients who are in grave health. Today we are beginning a new era with technology that extends the time and distance organs can remain viable. The Hume Lee Transplant Center is participating in a trial for a new profusion device that acts as a mini portable ICU, keeping organs viable for extended periods as if they are living inside a body. What that machine does is, rather than putting the liver on an ice, we put that liver on a pump, which is a, like an artificial, you could call it a heart-lung machine, and you put the liver on a pump, and then it gives oxygen as well as a continuous blood flow through the liver. The interesting thing is, is this could potentially extend our utilization of donor organs in twofold. So one, of course, is this issue of we can now maybe potentially break this four-hour window and go further and further afield. The other side aspect of it when it comes to hearts is, unlike a lot of the other organs, a lot of hearts get discarded, um, and for various reasons. While the transplant team has a lot of tools at their disposal to make sure the donated organ is as viable as possible, they will only know for sure after it's implanted. The Transmedics device answers the question before surgery. This is a game changer. Now you know if this liver is not working on a pump, it's less likely to work in a human body because this pump is mimicking what it's going to do at a human body. So you have a huge advantage that the organ is, the, the patient's life is not going to go waste if you know this liver is not working on a pump. The Humley trial will soon be complete with 10 livers implanted using the new device and 10 with the current method as a control. I mean, it gave the doctors confidence that the liver was a good viable liver. The other aspect is they were also able to hook up tubes and measure the amount of bile that the liver was producing, which also is a very good indicator uh, that the liver is an extremely healthy liver. The life-saving liver kept alive and tested in this device is successfully implanted into the patient. So when I found out that I was part of the study and they had a great liver, they were very excited. I went into the surgery a lot more confident because the doctors, I felt, were more confident than the liver. Just one week later, that patient leaves the hospital with a new lease on life. The surgical team hopes to use this revolutionary profusion machine in nearly every transplant. The Poly Heart Center will soon take part in the trial, adding heart transplants to the transmedic study. There's no question that in the spectrum of transplantation, a significant potential of usable organs are being discarded at a higher rate when it comes to the heart compared to other organs. And I think uh, expanding that access is, in terms of addressing this constantly growing need on the wait list and so forth is, 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 is critical. For patients who are racing against time as they wait for a viable organ to become available, the odds may soon get a lot better. As you imagine the liver is in Utah, Colorado, or in a, in a West Coast anywhere. That liver has to come here. The cold time itself is gonna be over five, seven hours just during the travel time. Imagine being on a pump, we can extend the cold time and definitely utilize the liver. For these surgeons and their teams, all of whom deliver extraordinary focus, expertise, and compassion for their patients, their jobs may soon get even more fulfilling. This is why I got into heart surgery in the first place. It is not um, that people easily say, this is my favorite thing to do, um, because it's, it's just such a unique you know, thing. I mean, it is, not only does it encompass organ transplantation, it is really truly a gift from one person to another, um, but it is such a dynamic organ where you literally see it, you know, pink up and start to beat in front of you, um, that it's, it's just amazing.